Take five. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> we've recorded... Like being a drama queen. We've recorded this twice now. Stacy keeps forgetting to turn the <laughs> mic on. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Greg and Stacy here with our unscripted reviews. And this is week... What week is this? this week is four? Week four for Stacy. Week seven? Mm -hmm. Week seven for me. Super Bowl week is coming up. So we got some pre pre preparation for that. But before we get to that, let's talk about weight loss. So mine has tapered off just a little bit. I'm still losing, but it feels like more like ounces than pounds now. <laughs> so I think I'm like down to two pounds. I mean, if you can even from where it was. So that's still pretty good. I mean, I think it's what, 37 overall or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, yeah, what about you? I think I'm also only two pounds. I've been I've been messing up um, and tracking my weight loss because I keep I stopped drinking soda right, right. beforehand, and I keep going back to that number. Ah, yes. Um, which keeps putting an extra two pounds on my total from the beginning of the year. So I think I'm actually only at thirteen. Okay. Which is kind of. I guess a little frustrating. I kind of expected to lose more. 13 in a month beginning. is pretty good though. Yeah, but it's more on track of when, you know, somebody's dieting and exercising and they're losing that one and a half to two pounds a week. But we're not exercising. I know. The one and a half to two pounds a week is still only eight pounds. I expected it to um, go a little bit faster. But it's okay. It's coming off, you know, so yeah. it's just maybe going to take a little longer than I thought. Well, more importantly, how are you feeling? I'm actually pretty good, other than I have had some headaches this week, as you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, that could be weather related. Could stress be stress probably plays a big part of that too. Could be stress too. Yeah, weather weather uh, if you're in the Midwest <laughs> is pretty crazy. The kids have been out of school like every day this week, so I've been feeling good as well. But I did get some new coffee too, so that makes me pretty excited and a little. What about what about your cravings? Have you had any cravings? I don't think I've really, I haven't really had any. I think I'm suffering from not eating enough at the meals. So then this week, the, 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 there's been a quite a few nights this week where after dinner I'm still kind of hungry and I still kind of want to maybe snack on something. Mm. Um, I've kept it pretty under control. Like I haven't gone over my macros at all. You know, I've stayed within my macros with everything. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I need to, I need to start incorporating more food, I think during the actual meal and get back to, and I'm wondering if that might be why my weight loss is slow because I haven't been paying 100% attention to the fasting. Yeah. The at least four hours in between meals. Um, so I don't know if that might be part of my issue. Well, it's still fairly new for you. And that first fast uh, of the day is probably the most important. So the last time you eat at night until the next time you eat the next day, you drink your coffees every morning. Are you actually mm -hmm. hungry when you're consuming those or are you just drinking them because you think you should? I would say probably more often than not, I am. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. Does it curb your, your hunger? For a little bit. Okay. Um, I did say, and I don't know if we wanted to bring this up now. Yeah, it might be something to bring on. Because but I did say in the last video that I wanted to um, figure out a way to kind of like stop that being hungry in between lunch and dinner, breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that I found, we have that collagen peptide. Yep, yep. And I was reading a little bit on that um, last week and how to like bake with it. Um, and I read that, you know, you can put it in your drinks and it'll dissolve pretty well in hot and cold drinks. Um, and then it also might help with curbing hunger, hun hunger a little bit. It's kind of cool because it also helps with like hair and nails and stuff like that, which I didn't realize. Joint pain. And yeah, joint pain. But... It's good for you, but it's it does have what twelve grams of protein. For twelve two grams tablespoons? of protein for two tablespoons. Yeah. So, the biggest thing is the sleep. Making sure you're getting good sleep and making sure you're getting uh, magnesium helps a lot. So if I the couple days that I've forgotten to take my magnesium supplement, um, I, uh, I I noticed. 
Um, and then when I did take it, I, I noticed again. So big improvements there. That's one of my issues is trying to remember to take the supplements. Yeah. I can't say that they've really helped or they haven't helped yeah, because it's kinda I'm hard to say because of very that. hit and miss on remembering to take them. Yep, for sure. So there's another goal. Try to remember to take them every day. Yeah, yeah. But as far as macros for me this week, um, my macros, I was under on everything all days except for one day. That day was happened to be yesterday. And what happened is I, I kind of uh, forgot to add something. And then when I ate dinner, I remembered. And then at that point, I was already too late. So as I was entering dinner, I realized that I didn't add the lunch portion that I carved out. I had two different pieces because I got interrupted. So I didn't go over on carbs. I just went over on uh, fat and protein and over on calories. But um, it wasn't a sizable amount, you know, less than 1% or something like that. But it was... It's pretty I think, close. I think I've gone over on protein a few times this week. Um, mm -hmm. Almost did today. Yeah, I mean, that's going to probably help push that if you're not... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see how that kind of turns out um, in the overall. Um, I did have... So, uh, every, every last Friday in the month, my work does a luncheon that is oh, catered yeah. in. And... Um, we had talked about it beforehand because I had thought, you know, do I bring my own lunch? You know, can I still eat it? It was food from a local Chinese place that is very well known and is very good. Um, and they usually do like, uh, what is it? It's, I think it's Kung Pao chicken mm -hmm. where it's got the pieces of chicken with the chilies and the peanuts. Um, and then they usually have some kind of like a, a beef, like beef medallions or something. Well, this, this time it happened to be like Peking beef. Peck, I don't, peking, 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 I don't know how you say it. Peking beef. <laughs> um, so they have that, you know, and they have the, of course, they have the egg rolls and the crab rangoons, which I sadly walked past the crab rangoons and did not get any of those. Um, but, you know, I'm sitting there eating the chicken and I'm going to put this stuff in my phone for the um, macros. And I just looked up, you know, Kung Pao chicken in the app that we have and started freaking out because it had like, I don't remember what I told you that it said it had, it was over 10 grams of carbs per serving. And I started freaking out. So I texted him and I was like, carb emergency, carb emergency. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed. I'm like, what is going on? Like I saw emergency first, so I started to panic. And then I saw carb and I just started to chuckle, but. So we worked it out, but that's, you know, it's a good point is those are sometimes hard to do is when you're like in that mode where you're like, I'm hungry. Here's this food in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't I want bring to eat anything it. with me. Yeah. I want backup. to eat it. But what do I do? You know, and there's a lot of times where if you're tracking macros, you're not going to have all the information that you need. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do is just kind of, I mean, Kung Pao chicken has, you know, chicken. It's a sauce, right? It may have a little bit of sugar in the sauce. Um, it also has like chili and garlic uh, sauce in it. Um, but it also has a ton of like root vegetables, like carrots, and celery and stuff. So which those- Which did not eat those. Right, which she doesn't like those anyway. Um, but that's a good portion of where a lot of the carbs are coming from because it knows those are generally in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, so yeah, so that's kind of part of it. So, you know, in that situation, it's basically um, being very upfront with yourself that I'm gonna eat until I'm no longer hungry, not I'm gonna eat until I'm full, right? Um, which is good for any diet, but more so probably with this. Um, and then she also, I think you ate some beef too, right? Beef and broccoli. I had, yeah, I had a little bit of beef and they had the broccoli. So I ate a good portion of the broccoli. Um, I had, like I said, they had like the Peking beef, which was, you know, a little, medallions sort of and i yeah. had a couple of those um just because i was nervous about the sauce sure i did eat more chicken after you know discussing after it with you it, yeah. um and i i did have some discomfort some you know intestinal discomfort over the weekend so i don't know if it was from that yeah. or if it was from something else um but that was not fun no <laughs> it wasn't nearly as bad as what i've heard some people 
um, experience when they kind of overdo it on certain things after being on keto for a while. But yeah, I, I definitely don't think that was an over overdoing it or anything. I mean, I think that's just um, you know those are the types of situations that you kind of expect, right? You know, those are the situations where like we went uh, out for my son's birthday on Saturday, mm-hmm. and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and I think you got a, a bunless burger, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. With um, cheese and, and I was I was happy because I was able to get wings right um, and spicy garlic is my weakness so I was able to get those um, but the problem with the wings is um, as my really only meal that I had that day because of the amount of proteins involved with those things so I mean I'm super happy that they post the nutritional information but yeah, the it was number easy of to wings. track that because yeah. they did have all that online. So that's really, really nice if you're, you know, in that situation, um, you can kind of, you know, eyeball it in that respect um, and, and have some definitive, definitive numbers to, to put in. But the protein was so high and the fat was so low and it's like, oh my God, I wish I would have had a Bulletproof coffee. I was not having it just because of the fact that um, I was concerned about the number of calories and um, protein I was going to be receiving from having the lunch. Um, and then I ended up take, drinking tea with MCT oil and it just tried to get my macros somewhere close. So um, I think that I missed that day. I think I misspoke earlier when I said I, I hit everything but one. And so I was a little low on my fat that day, which was on Saturday. And then I was a little over on my fat and protein yesterday. So other than that, I've been under, like even today, I think I'm sitting really good with where I've, yeah, I've, you know, I've only got nine and a half carbs in me. Um, I still have a fair amount of, of everything. So, and I think I still got 600 calories and my macros are, are basically perfect right now. 75, 22 and three. So I don't know what mine are. Cause I put that fish in and then I didn't eat the whole thing and I haven't changed it yet. So I'm glad you brought up the fish. But before we talk about the, the our new recipes and stuff, Stacy wants to talk to you about our public service announcement brought to you by Zip Fizz. <laughs> Loving the Zip Fizz. So we started out with fruit punch, which I have not drank because I don't like fruit punch. He, he likes fruit punch. Um, then he also got black cherry, which is freaking awesome. So then we decided to go crazy and we got a bunch of other ones. Um, so we have here, we have the black cherry, we have the fruit punch, we have blueberry, raspberry, we have orange, grape, and pink lemonade, which is what I'm drinking right now. Um, they all are at a net two carbs, except for, of course, my favorite one, the blueberry raspberry. This stuff is just amazing. I love it. It tastes so good. Um, we also had a pink grapefruit sample. That was good. That came in one of our I other like ones. Too. I do not like grapefruit. Um, but it wasn't but I made her try it terrible. Yeah, I could probably drink it if I had to yeah um, I think there was one other one that had three carbs, and I can't remember Which one it no, is I think it's just the blood the blueberry. I could have swore there was another one. No, I'm pretty sure That's just um, But yeah, it's it's so it's so good and we'll put links down below if you um, Are inclined to try it, but you might check your local Sam's Club because they, yeah, they that's where too. we that's where I picked up the original batch which was the fruit punch and the cool thing is is they all come with a sample of a different flavor like yeah. every box that we've gotten has a sample of with a different flavor in it yeah which is pretty pretty neat although most of them have the newest one which I believe is the that blueberry one. raspberry yeah. which is awesome so what these are good for um, is they give you a, a little shot of caffeine um, which is great and it's always helpful for fat burning um, but they also have a 950 milligrams of potassium, which is huge. And there are some certain FDA regulations that prevent pills from being having, I think more than what, 90, 90 milligrams or something, something like that. Something really small. So because this is actually considered food, I believe is how they're able to get around that. Um, yeah. but, but also has hundred milligrams of magnesium. So very good for electro, electrolytes. Um, no sugar. No sugar, but it does have two carbs, except for the for the blueberry uh, raspberry which has three i believe all the other numbers are the same so i think they're pretty it has close. it does have um 833 percent of 
vitamin C in it. Like yeah, 500 milligrams of vitamin C, 15 IU of vitamin E. Um, 2,500 of whatever of B12. Nicene, Rivovin. So overall, <laughs> I mean, these things are very good um, in that, and they taste good. Um, mm -hmm. I'd be a little cautious drinking more than one of them a day though. Just because does, of the amount of vitamins in them. It does say um, use one to three tubes daily though. Yeah, I don't know though because one of the biggest scares is if you get too much, I mean your number for potassium is I think like 4,500 um, that you could need. But if you get too much potassium, it actually is kind of bad for the heart. Um, yeah. and, and so the, I would just be careful about that. I'm not a cardiologist, but that's just the research that I've done. These will break a fast, though. I mean, they don't really have any calories or anything, but... Because it'll affect your glycemic... But well, any supplements um, for my research, all, all your... Yeah. So all your supplements um, will affect your uh, glycemic index um, because you're absorbing the minerals, right? So the liver's involved in that whole process. But anyway, they're good. Try them. Yeah, definitely. Especially this one. But think, the black cherry kind of tastes like a cherry popsicle. A little yeah, bit I think me. I think it's between black cherry and the pink lemonade one for me personally. Mm, I think the black cherry although, and the blueberry raspberry. Are my although favorites. the black, I'll be honest with you, the black cherry I have had kind of a, a bit of withdrawal because we had fruit punch and black cherry, and my son and Stacy were drinking the black cherries, and so to keep ourselves in stock and not have to spend a bunch <laughs> more money right away, I was drinking the fruit punch. So. Yeah, zip fizz, give them a try. Um, Definitely. Back to the fish. So our, there's only one really thing that we, we tried out this week um, and actually it happened to be tonight that worked out. Um, and that is, we had some swordfish. Now this is a first for, for her and I. Um, we've had salmon a few times. We really like tuna. Um, tuna steaks. Yeah, tuna steaks. Um, so swordfish, seemed like a the next thing to try it was on sale um, at our local uh, health food market that was on sale yeah so and it looked looked pretty good so we tried it uh, it was good um, not something that I want to pay that prime premium for um, mm -hmm. I'd rather have a steak I mean that's flaming neon price right um, I think it was like 15.99 on sale Versus, I think, $1,800 $18 a pound. $1,800 $1, a pound! <laughs> so... 1800 pennies. Yeah, 1800 pennies. So, so anyway, yeah, it was good. Um, if you guys have any good recipes that we absolutely have to try with it, we'll definitely get it again. Um, we tried one. It was, uh, you pan sear it, uh, both sides with salt and pepper, and then you roast it in the oven for about 10 minutes um, while you build a, uh, basically a butter sauce um with herbs and lemon uh zest and then you you basically deglaze the pan that comes out of the oven with it and then you basically coat it and like i said it was good um, it was very lemony yeah i like that about it yeah I, I probably used a bit more lemon zest than i get a little over zest <laughs> when i'm lemon zest ing anyway <sighs> so um we're gonna talk about super bowl for the third time. <laughs> third time. And how I'm tired of seeing Tom Brady and how I'm the still Super Bowl. A, I'm still a Patriots fan, but I still want to see somebody else too. So, go Rams. Um, we are hosting Super Bowl at our house this year, which is kind of nice with the keto thing because going to someone else's house and not knowing how they're making things, what they're making, it makes it a little difficult. We are doing a dish to pass for everybody else who doesn't want to eat our keto food. Which is nice. But our keto food's usually pretty good. Our friends, most of our friends like it. Yeah, and we got a couple of good recipes. I mean, we got making some chili, some keto chili. It's going to be great. Stacy won't eat any of it. But I do have, what else do I have? Oh, I got chicken enchilada dip that I've ketoized. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we can't have corn tortillas, chips, but right. fathead crackers, maybe. Mm -hmm. or, or by itself is pretty good, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you can tolerate the spice. Well, yeah. Not that spicy. Bacon wrapped pickles. No, no, hear me out. 
and I'm also going to put some breading on them. And uh, did you just puke over there? <laughs> You're going to clean that up. And so, we're going to need a moment. Anyway, bacon wrap pickles. Bacon wrap pickles. Yeah, with breading on them, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be so good. And I'm going to make some homemade ranch to go with them. The ranch is good. The ranch is great. And, and then we're also going to make a new recipe. They are broccoli tots. So it's basically. I don't know how regular tater tots are made, but we're replacing the potatoes with broccoli. And of course it has an egg in it to kind of hold everything together. And we're not using the breadcrumbs that it talks about in the recipe. We have our own breading. We're basically ketoizing mix. somebody else's broccoli tots. Yeah, um, that we used for the uh, avocado fries. Right, delicious. So they should be good. I think they'll be good. They might be I'm good. a little excited. I don't like broccoli, so they won't be good to me. But anyway, we're going to make these recipes, and we're going to um, make a quick video of them and throw them up tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. So what else we got? That's it. I think that's it. That's it. I think that's Unless it. Unless we want to talk about some goals. Yeah, we're going to talk about some goals for the second time. Because <laughs> Stacy remembered before we shot the goals the last time, but the one before that. We had completed the video, and... That's when she went over to turn it off and realized that the mic was off. We also talked about intermittent fasting with your goal. So we're going to try to get Stacy to take her coffee drink, her breakfast. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, you're a dork. Just go. A little later. I'm laughing at your own joke. A little later in the day so that you know she's exactly not going to be that's like. hungry anyway. So that's that's her goal. Uh, I accomplished my goal this week, and that was to be able to pick a couple recipes. So we made swordfish tonight. Yep, which we already talked about. Which wasn't that. Yeah, we talked about that, yeah. Well, mine was slightly met because with the beef collagen, beef collagen, collagen peptide, mm. um, it did increase my time until I got hungry again. What? Are you like a cat? You're following me. Meow. <laughs> We'll see. Sounds like we both have a Labrador to lose, um, which would make a lot more sense if you saw the first part of the video. Uh, but there was no microphone. Did I mention that? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we got, oh, speaking of, that's a rug ass kitty. <laughs> I don't want you on me. <laughs> anyway, we both have this wonderful lab here to lose still. So that's that's a goal, long-term goal for us. And hopefully, you know, maybe in a year, we'll be, we'll be there. Hopefully. But short-term, um, you know, for this, this coming week, I, I just want to, I want to get my, I want to nail every macro. That's what I want to do this week. I don't want to go over it all. I already had two this week where either I was under or over in something. So I want to nail every macro. That's my goal. So we definitely need to do a little better and figure out our meals. I think some of the issues we've had is we've had too much chicken. Like that's been a problem. So we need to fix that. Too much chicken. Chicken's cheaper than some of these other things. So I'm kind of curious if they can hear her. Yeah. Can you guys hear the cat? <laughs> it's like a helicopter. I've already I've already lost that. Like <laughs> that's how much weight I've lost. This big furry <laughs> kitty right here. You've lost more than that. Yeah, I lost part of the other dog too, but anyway guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay warm. And random. But mostly warm. And then random. Warm still. Whatever. <sighs> Waiting on Stacy again. Hey, Greg and Stacy here. I'm talking for Stacy today. She's still purring. So, yep. Stella. That's her name. Hopefully you're hearing us now because if you're not, you're gonna have to deal with lip it singing. It's on. It's on. We're gonna be Millie Vanilli lip singing the rest of this video.